What's up everyone, Mike Roselli here, Content Director for FC Piro. Welcome to the FC Piro Garage Tour. So we're here in the FC Piro Garage located in Milford, Connecticut. This is an 18,000 square foot facility that is attached right to our distribution center where we house all of our parts that we ship out on fcpiro.com. Within the garage here, we house a full motorsports program with IMSA. We have a couple of special guests, Michael S's drift car here in the interim. We do all of our DIY, our filming, our content, everything that supports the YouTube channel. And we also have project cars, back office support, events, you name it, we cram a lot of stuff into this facility. So I mentioned in-house motorsports program. So what does it actually mean? FC Pure Motorsports has a long history of doing it ourselves, working our way up through the grassroots efforts in AER with our E30, then our C300, then into Pirelli World Challenge with our two Volkswagen GTI TCRs, and now the AMG GT that we're really excited to be campaigning in the IMSA program this year. So the full logistics of the program, the race hauler, all the tuggers, the fueling, the parts, the repairs, the spares, all of that happens in this facility. And we work very closely with our motorsports team and our content team and our marketing team to coordinate all of those three teams together to make sure that we can get the best coverage possible right out of this facility. So one of the most exciting things about the FC Piro Garage is that it's always in motion. There's always something happening. So right behind me, we are prepping our 11 AMG GT. It just got back from Watkins Glen. We're doing a bunch of work on it to prep for our next race at Lime Rock Park, which is in just a few days. And over here, you can see the number 12 AMG GT. This is a car that we just bring to the races as a spare so that we can make sure that if anything happens to the car, we can pull parts off of this one, put it on the 11, and that's exactly what we did at Watkins Glen. The third car that you can see in the corner is just a chassis. That's another spare. So the reason that a motorsport team has so many spares is obviously to avoid any incidents that happen on track, but it's also to help out other teams where appropriate. So being a European car parts retailer, we want to help other teams as best as we possibly can. So whenever we have an opportunity to trade parts or efforts or tools or things like that, we're gonna be able to do that. It's still competition at the end of the day. We wanna be competitive and we wanna win races, but we also wanna make some friends along the way and build a camaraderie and a level of respect within the paddock. So right next to our motorsport lift here where the entire effort for the IMSA program is supported, we've got our DIY lift back behind me. So why do we have a DIY studio? What's the point of that? So FCP Euro is an online retailer. We sell European car parts online, but that's not enough for us. We wanna help people have a better experience, a more enjoyable, more enduring experience. And one of the ways that we do that is we actually show people how to install those parts on their cars. We try and help people understand the systems of their vehicles, how things work. The more that we can educate people and help them learn about their car, the better their experience is going to be. And we do a lot of that right in this facility behind me. So as you can see, the Mark IV is on the lift. We're doing a brake job on it. You're gonna see that video go up on our YouTube channel where you can see all sorts of other videos that we have for all different makes and model cars. Outside of the YouTube channel, we also post everything to our DIY blog. So that's where you can see all of the step-by-step -step instruction, photos, and text that helps support everything that we do on the lift behind me that goes up on the YouTube channel. So the last lift that we have in the facility is right behind me and you can see an E55 AMG drift car that we dubbed Dapper Drift on the lift right now. And that car is getting prepped to go to Grid Life Alpine, which is in Colorado. So why does FC Piro participate in events? Well, we don't want to profit off of the community. We want to participate in it. And the way that we do that is through motorsports, through car shows, through grassroots efforts, and through things like Grid Life, where we can go and tell people what FC Piro is, what we're all about, have a good time, show people the cool cars that we build. So that lift is all about that long-term project car. It's what we're doing for more than a couple weeks, a couple months, but we want to do really cool builds, show the European car community what you can do with knowledge and good parts and quality service, and then bring these cars that we make all to these events, give people ride-alongs, uh, give away free shirts, 
sunglasses, stickers, we have all of this stuff. We don't want to sell it, we just want to tell people who we are and what we do so that people can come away with a really cool experience and know what FC Puro is. So the last component of the FC Puro garage here is that it's not actually a garage, it's an office. And all the people that are behind me are on our marketing, content, and motorsports team. So everything that happens from supporting the motorsports effort to planning DIYs, to editing videos, to writing blogs, photography, marketing, social media, all of that stuff happens right behind me and the team literally is here in the garage so we can see everything that's happening, we can stay in the loop and it's also really cool to just be in an office with all this cool stuff. So another really cool part about the FC Puro garage is that all 200 plus FC Puro employees are car enthusiasts themselves. We have projects of our own. As employees, we are privileged enough to be able to use this facility for all of those things. So we have an entire booking system online that coordinates the lifts, the timing, and things like that. We have all the toolboxes that are available, all the tools for people to use. Oftentimes, after hours, late night, whatever it is, you'll see people here working on their own stuff right next to the motorsports team, right next to the content guys filming. All of that is coordinated here. Really small margins of error to be able to make sure that this stuff happens without overlapping or anything like that. I can't tell you how nice it is in New England weather to be doing an oil change in a heated and air conditioned facility, whether it's in the winter time or hot summers. So this is a really nice thing that we're very lucky to have. All right, guys, thanks so much for coming down to our facility here in Milford, Connecticut. We've got a lot of work to do. Like I said, the race car's gotta get prepped for the event this coming week at Lime Rock Park. We're going to Grid Life right after that. So all of this next to me has to get packed up, repaired, tied down, you name it. We've got a lot of stuff to do, but we really hope that you guys can join us at an event, come to a car show, cars and coffee at our facility in the near future, or even just swing by to pick up parts to do an oil change, suspension work, whatever it is on your car. So thanks so much for watching on the Koenig YouTube channel. Thanks so much for coming and we hope to see you soon.